uh, today's class we are going to discuss about the magnetic field intensity on the axis of a rectangular coil here you can see a rectangular coil of side a b b c c d and d a a current i is circulating through the rectangular coil a point p which is located exactly at the center of the coil and we are going to find out what would be the the expression of magnetic flux density at the point p due to the uh, the rectangular coil so here we can see that a blue line which is just connecting the the corner a and c and b and d so that we can find the exact center point the center point is p and here we can see that it is a triangles are created and there are inner angle and outer angles are we can see and uh, here we can see that this theta one angle and theta two these are same and here the angle are also same so ab and uh, ad are sections of the the width and height of this rectangular coil the width is a and whereas the height equal to so we can find out we can easily we can see that the length of this point p from the center point is uh, b by 2 because this is b so b by 2 will comes exactly here so this is b by 2 now using our the previous expression okay yeah earlier we studied about uh, the magnetic field intensity due to finite and infinite conductors so this is a finite conductor and this is a point p it is locating at exactly t distance from this conductor so we derive the expression of uh, the magnetic field intensity the magnetic field density and intensity also same uh, the expression is mu naught i four pi d and cos theta 1 plus cos theta 2 so theta 1 and theta 2 are these angles theta 1 and theta 2 so d is that this distance so mu naught is the permeability of the medium and we are going to use this uh, expression to find out what is what is the, the magnetic field density and intensity at the center of the coil so because each section we can consider as a a, a finite current length So, uh, the magnetic field intensity at center P to the uh, segment AB. So, we are going to consider due to the segment AB, what is the magnetic field intensity at point P. So, H become, H we know that B by mu. So, H is I by 4 pi D cos cos theta 1 plus cos theta 2 cos theta 1 plus cos theta 2 here this angle this theta 1 and theta 2 both are theta 2 so let us consider it as theta 1 equal to theta 2 equal to theta let us take it as a theta so this expression become h become i by 4 pi so what is the d so d is here b by 2 so b by 2 so cos theta 1 cos theta plus cos theta so become 2 cos theta so here 2 to get cancelled there is another 2 2 to get cancelled so this final expression become i by pi b cos theta so this is the magnetic field intensity at center p due to segment a b so if you take the segment a b or if you take the segment c d both will give the same expression so this is a b or c d the magnetic field intensity so field intensity at p due to a b or c d this is the expression plus th this is theta so if you take this triangle 
Now take this triangle, this triangle. So this is theta. This is the one side of the triangle. This is the B. The other side is is A. So the hypotenuse become A square plus B square. Now take the cos theta. So cos theta become the adjacent by hypotenuse. So this is B upon A square plus B square. We can substitute this expression of this cos theta here. So H become I by pi B cos theta. Cos theta is B by A square plus B square. On the numerator side, we can see that. So there are two Bs, and on the denominator side, so this is I by pi A square plus B square. Now, what is the magnetic field intensity? Due to both the section A, B, and C, D, it is the sum of the sum of magnetic field intensity due to A, B, and C, D. So the H become H become two I pi A square plus B square. Let us take it as a H one that is this is because of A B and C D. Similarly, we need to find out what is the magnetic field intensity created at point P due to C A and C B. So, if you consider A D, what is the the point P from the center? This distance. So, this length is A. This distance become. A by two. So we can use the same expression and substitute A by two, and cos theta. We can find out the magnetic field intensity at point the P. Okay. Now let us take what is the magnetic field intensity at point P due to B C and D A. So this is B C, and this is D A. The point P is located exactly at A by two distance from the center of the section D A and B C. So The field intensity H become I by four pi d cos. So instead of theta, let us take a, a representation phi cos phi two. And see this; these two angles are same. These two angles are same. So let us take it as phi one equal to phi two equal to phi. And we know that distance d equal to a by two. And if you take a triangle cos phi, this triangle, this triangle, so this is a, this is b. The cos phi become. A by a square plus b square. Let us substitute all these into here. So h become i by four pi a by two and cos phi plus cos phi. That is two cos phi. So two. What is cos phi? So a by a square plus b square. Let us cancel the common terms. So this become h become i by so i by pi a square plus b square. This is the field intensity due to any of this section, uh, and p due to uh, b c or d a. This is not an B C or D A. So, what is the field intensity at point P due to A B and C D? And what is B C and D A? 
bc and bc and da sorry that is not bc bc and da there is a two times two times i which is on pi a square plus b square let us name it as h1 h2 so this is h1 due to to the horizontal sections horizontal conductors and h2 is two vertical conductors now what is the total magnetic field intensity due to the the complete section complete coil complete rectangular coil then it is sum of h1 plus h2 h1 we know that this is h1 2i by 5 power pi square 2i by pi a square plus b square and say h2 is 2i by uh, pi a square so both are same so this become 2 times 2i pi a square plus b square now let us assume that the loop is a square loop it is a square loop that means a equal to b so a equal to b if a equal to b it's a square loop then substitute here what is expression of h h become 4i so a square plus a square that is square root of a so 4i pi a square root of 2 so this become if you take this one 2 into 2 2 into 2i this is square root of pi a so this become root 2 2 root 2 i upon pi a so ampere per meter so this is the magnetic field intensity at the point p which is exactly at the center of the rectangular coil so what is the magnetic flux density so we know that magnetic flux density is v equal to mu h so b become mu times what is h 2 root 2 i pi a so this is weber per meter square so here we added uh, the h h the field intensity at point p due to a b and c d we added why because the current flowing uh, in a section ab and uh, cd are in opposite direction so so that's why we added the expression of the field intensity at point p due to ab and field intensity at point p due to cd similarly we did a simple arithmetic addition here because the current flowing through the section uh, da and bc are also in opposite direction because same current is flowing 